What's up crafters? Are you tired of seeing this HTML icon and having to double click all of your SVG files just to see what they contain? Well, let me show you how to go from this HTML Microsoft Edge icon and show you how to display an actual preview icon of what your SVG contains. So the first thing I'm going to do is open my search and type in Microsoft Store app. I'll open the application in the search engine bar, type Power Toys. Go ahead and click on the Power Toys application in the search and then click install to install it. You'll see that it says you might need to take action on another window. So when the pop-up does pop up for the user account control, go ahead and click yes and this is going to allow for install. Microsoft Power Tools will open automatically once it's done installing, and you're going to click on File Explorer add-ons on the left-hand side. Here, under Preview Pane, you want to make sure that Scalable Vector Graphics, the SVG files, is set to On, and this will allow you to preview the document in the folder itself. You also want to make sure it's On under the Thumbnail Icon Preview, and this is just the actual icon of the document itself. It also works on PDF files as well, so you can turn that on and you'll be able to see your PDF documents as previews as well. You will sometimes have to restart your computer in order for your effects to take place. Now we're just going to go ahead and go back to the folder and see the changes we've made. So here we are in a folder that contains SVG files, and you can see that when they're set to large icons, I can see the thumbnail preview of the actual document. I also see that there's still a Microsoft Edge icon there. That still tells me that it's an HTML file, and it's going to open up in the Microsoft Edge application. To view the preview pane, you're going to go to the View menu on top, click Show, and do Preview Pane. This will open up the preview pane on the right-hand side. And if you drag the preview pane, it'll make it a little larger and you can see the preview much bigger. The last thing I want to change is the program that my SVGs open up with automatically. So I'm going to right click on one of my files, choose open with and choose another app. Here it's going to ask me to select an application to open this SVG file with. And it gives me suggested applications of Google Chrome and Inkscape Vector Graphics Editor. I already have this downloaded on my computer. It's the program I use to edit all my SVGs. So I'm going to select Open with Inkscape and then select Always. So from now on, my files always open with Inkscape. Now you can see that my icons on my thumbnails now have a little Inkscape sign instead of the Microsoft Edge icon. So when I double click on my file, it's going to now automatically open up in Inkscape. All right, crafters, that's all I have for you today. Don't forget to like, follow, share, and subscribe if this was helpful to you. And as always, you can find me in my community crafting group at Crafting How To.